So here we're going to find the domain and range of a function after some transformations. Here is an example. The domain of a function f is minus 2, 3. The interval minus 2, 3. And its range is minus 1, 5. Find the domain and the range of the function y equal f of x minus 3 plus 4. Now the best way to do that is perhaps through a table like this. Now what we start with is a function f whose domain is minus 2, 3 and the range is minus 1, 5. Then we take f of x minus 3 which is this minus 3 here, means a shift right, so it's a shift to the right by 3 units. That means the domain will change, it will increase by 3, so both of these numbers need to be increased by 3, so it will become minus 2 plus 3, which is 1. 3 plus 3 is 6. The range stays the same. So it, be, it is still minus 1, 5. Now, the second transformation now is this plus 4, which is a shift up by 4 units. This transformation does not change the domain. So the domain will still be 1, 6. But the range, because it's the graph is going up by 4 units, its range needs to be increased by 4. So it becomes, the range becomes minus 1 plus 4 is 3, 5 plus 4 is 9. So in the end, after these two transformations, then we get the domain of the new function is 1, 6, and the range, which is this one here, and the range is this one, so the range is 3, 9, like this. Okay, here we start with a function whose domain is minus infinity 3, so I can write it here, minus infinity 3, and its range is 4 infinity. And then I want to find the domain and range of this function here, which is 2f of x plus 1 minus 5. So there are three transformations here. First one is f of x plus 1. This plus 1 is a shift left by one unit, which means that the domain will change. Domain itself will shift to the left, so it will become minus infinity. So basically we take minus 1 from both sides, 3 minus 1 will become 2. So the domain will be minus infinity 2, and the range will actually stay the same. So it will still be 4 infinity, like this. Now, after that, we multiply this function by 2, which is a stretch. Stretch by a factor of 2. That means the domain is still the same, minus infinity 2, but the range will be multiplied by 2. So we multiply both ends of this range by 2. 4 times 2 becomes 8. Infinity times 2 is still infinity. And finally, we then take the minus 5. So it will be 2 f of x plus 1 
minus 5. Now, this minus 5 is a shift down by 5 units, by 5. So that means the domain is still the same, minus infinity 2. The range will be minus 5. So we take minus 5 from both ends of the range. 8 minus 5 will give us 3. Infinity minus 5 is infinity. So in the end, here is the domain of the new function, and here is the range. So I can write the answer, the final answer, will be the domain of the new function is minus infinity 2, and the range, the range of the function is 3 infinity like this.